All right, morning guys, fishing the odds. Today we're, we're doing a little family fun adventure. Yeah. We're doing some kokanee fishing and we're hopefully, fun. exactly, hopefully we're gonna get the kids on some kokanee so they can reel in uh, some quality little silver bullets. So uh, we'll go over the setups today. We'll kind of intermingle a tutorial into this, uh, into the, today's episode. And so you guys can maybe learn a little something, but the water's pretty cold right now. It's 41 degrees. So we're, we're running some smaller profile stuff. Yeah. And and that's hopefully gonna entice these fish to bite. Um, something a little smaller, not not so aggressive, right, with these colder temperatures. So so stick yeah. around guys, should be a should be a good day. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. Um yeah, let's go have some fun. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm yeah. Uh-huh. turned on for the kiddos it's probably like 38 degrees right now and so it doesn't hurt to get get it warm in the cab for the kids so that's the first thing we're gonna do and we also brought some food guys some snacks you guys know how fishing the odds does it we got some snacks today I'm gonna hold that for a minute Flame. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Alright. We'll let it warm up in here. Alright, folks, so we're just getting started trolling here. Um, kind of just want to go over the rod setup real quick and what we're going to be running today. We have really cold temperatures, it's like 40 degrees out here. Um, and so one thing I wanted to do is keep the leaders short, like always, but just run a simple spinning glove. Just, just something small, small presentation that's not too intrusive because as the water temperatures get colder, I think these fish key in more on, on a smaller presentation, right? If you have some big giant thing out there, that's aggressive, that's for warmer temperatures. So we're running smaller presentations today and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, no downriggers, we're just going to be trolling, but basically I have a 30 inch bumper leader to a SEPS Dodger on one of my setups. That's got some watermelon color. Color's not huge, I'm not a big big sticker on color. And then I have a short like 12 inch leader to a spinning glow. So if you look down here guys, we have a couple different corn recipes. So we got some tuna mixed in one. We have some coon shrimp mix in another one. And what we do here is we just run a tuna, uh, a corn on each hook. So, so let's do this. Man, we got a lot of tuna in that bad boy. There we go. Now I have a corn on each hook. It smells like tuna. So we're about to let some line out, guys. Uh, we have the corn on the hooks. One thing that's important is the rod. You want a rod that's super light that's gonna absorb the takedown when that kokanee hits it because these, these fish have super soft mouths, right? But yet enough backbone to where you can stick them. So you always wanna have a super ultra light kokanee rod when you're doing this with a line counter reel. That's important because as we're trolling through these areas, we're gonna be marking fish at certain depths. And there's a chart that shows you exactly how deep you're fishing at 100 feet with a two ounce lead, right? So look, look at that chart online. But, Basically, a lot of the fish we're gonna be targeting are gonna be around 15 to 20 feet deep, and we're gonna be about 100 feet out with a two ounce lead. So you, you start your counter at zero, and then we're gonna slowly start letting line out. You wanna let out super slow, so your dodger doesn't get ahead of itself and tangle up the rest of your setup. So we're just gonna let out super slow like this to ensure that our, our gear is maintaining a good distance apart from the lead, and uh, we're preventing tangles. So. So this back rod, I'm gonna go about 110. That front rod right there, I have the same amount of lead. I'm gonna go about 100 feet. So a lot of the coconut are gonna be sitting around that depth. If we don't get bit for a while, 
uh, oftentimes you're not you're not going through schools. You got to pay attention to your drafts. If we're not going through schools, we're going to be making moves and we're going to go find fish, right? Don't just troll all day at the same depth and expect good results if you're not getting fish. You got to make make some changes. Either it be depth, maybe they're down at 30 feet. You just got to pay attention to your electronics or location. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Boom. These Akuma convectors with these uh, these low profile reels are, are just a good setup for kokanee. It's not the best reel in the world. It's cheap and affordable, but it does have a good line of counter that works. And that's all it takes sometimes. Pretty loose drags. I want that fish to be able to take a little bit of line. There we go. That one is set. That's it, folks. We're going to do the same thing with this other setup right now. Um, this setup, all we're running is a smiley blade and then this style of dodger. When the wind picks up, this dodger will typically never do a 360 if you start trolling faster. This dodger will actually maintain a wiggle no matter what speed you're doing. So this is a good dodger when, you're, when you have high winds and, and things where your speed is going to be changing from fast to slow constantly, knowing that th this thing is still going to be fishing regardless of your speed. And then, again, just a basic, simple little smiley blade. Two size six hooks, two owner size six hooks, little smiley blade, small presentation for this cold temperature. So I'm gonna get this one rigged up, and get it down there. Stay tuned, guys. There's gonna be some takedowns coming your way soon. Then the kids have some fun fights. All right, so basically, we've been trolling for about 10 or 15 minutes now, and we are marking a bunch of fish, like 60, 70 feet. We don't have downriggers, so what we're about to do is we're gonna make a move here. Uh, we got about five more minutes, see if I mark anything on the screen, you know, in our depth range. But otherwise, it's already been 20 minutes and we don't have a bite, so that means we're in the wrong area for, for the fish that we're targeting, so. Uh, we know there's fish in here, shallow, in this lake that we should be getting at this depth. We're just, we're just not in the right spot. So what we gotta do is travel. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a run toward the dam. And then from there, if I still don't see anything, I'm gonna make another run over by some of the creek, creek arms and stuff. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, guys. Here, real, nice and slow. Slow, Charlie, slow, slow. That's all you, Charlie. Keep it right where you're fighting it, too. Keep it over here a little bit. Keep, hold it right there. There you go. There you go. Let, let it run. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a nice fish. It's a nice one. Let it run. There you go. Dude, that thing's dogging her. Oh, yeah. Don't don't set like that. Just make sure you're real. There you go. Keep reeling. Don't stop. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's there. Reel. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Lift. Lift. Oh, nice job, Charlie. Nice job. Help her out, Kelly. All right, I'll take this. That's a nice one. All right. That's actually a really nice one. All right, guys. Charlie, come hold your fish. So check it out, guys. Just your basic little spinning glow on this setup. And that's how we got that fish to go. That double hook rig makes for a nice hookup rate. You have both hooks in the fish. Look at that, Charlie's Charlie's first kokanee today. Yeah, of course you can hold it. You're going to get 
Alright. You got a real buddy. Slow, 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 real slow. Real. That's all you. Keep it there. Keep it over there. Keep reeling, buddy. Don't, no, don't let it over here. Keep the rod this way. Now reel. 60 feet. You got hit it 60 feet. Hey, he's still there. Hey, pull that way. Pull that way a little bit. He's still there. Buddy, you gotta pull that way a little bit. Keep reeling. Good job. Keep reeling. Reel. Reel. Uh oh. There you go. All right. Good job, buddy. We finally found some fish. We hooked about five of them there. Um, I might have gotten some takedowns. I probably didn't, but the kids both reeled in a fish, and they're laying right here in the in the splash well. So, I think we're gonna cook up some some food here. We've only been fishing really in this area for about a half an hour, and we've had five bites. Generally, it's a little better than that, but um, there's enough fish around for me to want to hang out in this area for at least another hour um, and I'll make a move after that if I have to but but we had like I said a good five or six bites right there so two landed we'll stick around and hopefully we can get on some more fish just like that keep the rod straight out Good job, buddy. Point it that way. Point your rod that way, buddy. There yep, you go. Just like that. Keep it over Perfect. there. Perfect. There he is. Keep reeling. Good job. Point it that way. Point it that way or we'll never Lift land Lift it up her. high over your head. Lift it up. All there it is. Right. All right. Film it. Fish on. Charlie, real. Get him, Charlie. Get him. Oh, that one looks like a nice one again. Almost a double, guys. We got one on the floor and then we got Charlie Rose fighting another one. He's a little squirmy one, huh? Is he still there, Charlie? Uh, I can feel it. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be lifting the rod like that. You just slow, steady reels. Just like that. Slow down a little bit. Slower reel. Slow there you go, baby. There you go. Here he is. There. Nice one, Charlie. I'll take that. We got four. Fish hitting the deck. We just had a double. One was at 100 feet, one was at 60 feet. Um, we're just, the, the tuna corn is the ticket so far for us today. You can see we got four of them laying down there in the splash well. Um, it has not been very long, so we finally found a little bit of a fish up shallow. Um, we're kind of playing around with depths. Kelly was running a little deeper. I, I decided to go a little shallower, and all those four fish laying there have all been shallow. So we're, we're, we're kind of lucky because we don't have downriggers. Yeah. But I'm letting this one out 60 feet. Um, like I said, just had a double, one at 100, one at 60. So they're kind of spread out, but we're seeing what we can do. It is raining cats and dogs outside. And we decided to come hang out in the cabin. We got the heater going and uh, 
it's it's a lot warmer and a lot drier sitting right here so we're pretty excited about that we hooked uh probably eight or nine fish um we only stuck four of them and it's only been about 15 minutes since we hooked our last fish but we're gonna we're gonna hang out in the cabin for a little bit and we're gonna we're gonna turn this mr buddy heater off and we're gonna make some bacon burgers how's it gonna be warm in here so let, let's kill this thing Let's kill this thing and get going on some uh, some food. Guys, about to cook some bacon burgers. Uh, no. She is on. Now I can see all the rods. And she'll never come near it. Getting some bacon. You guys eating peanut butter jelly, huh? Mm -hmm. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Put the lime in the coconut. Mix it all up. Is that an upset face, Charlie? Are you upset? Charlie. We're fishing. <laughs> it's a little slow today. As you can see we got out of the out of the elements but uh we're waiting for the shallow schools we're marking them real deep today and that is not helping us out so we can fish about 25 35 feet deep with our setups and uh, that's about as deep as we're gonna get them so hopefully we come across some shallow schools okay get Ooh, there's another one Hell yeah, Kelly's getting one on. <coughs> I don't know if he's there anymore. He's got to be there. Hey, he's there. Yeah, he's there. Finally got one on or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Been a tough one today. It's not there anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. That's why I couldn't tell he was there. <laughs> we got five. Been a little slow, but uh, we got five, and we're cooking some food right now, so hopefully we can get some more while we're cooking. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's a freaking, Here. that's smaller than the one that I just caught. Or he's just not, like, grabbing it, right? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's on there. Look at that bendo. Let him do his thing, guys, when you when they're fighting. He, he's oh he he's he's growing. This guy's growing up. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's getting bigger. Here he is. Nice. He That's grew a pretty up. good size one. Yeah, he grew up. Got the net. Yep, I got it. Dude, when he hit it, when he hit it, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's a kokanee. And then I was like, I don't know if that's a branch or a kokanee. And then he, and then he came alive. So. Got a decent one, guys. It's been slow, so that's two in a row, though. Again, um, that makes number six. Look how chrome these things are, guys. Little bullets. Nice little fish. Right there. Here. Get him. Keep him up here. Real slow. If he's head shaking, don't reel. All right. Nice job, Charlie. Kokanee on. Let him head shake if he's head shaking. Real slow. Okay, now real slow. Slow. There you go. That's a smiley, huh? Yeah. There he is. He's still there. Oh, that's a nice one. There nice. he is. All right. Go ahead, Kelly. 
Watch out, Brayden. <laughs> Put him in the net when you're all done. Brayden. What? You got another one. Keep reeling, buddy. <laughs> Good job. Oh, now he's fighting. Keep reeling. Kokanee on. Ha <laughs> ha, Braden. <laughs> So slick back here. <laughs> All right, hold on, Brayden. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Whoa. Oh, it's a pike. Get it out. Whoa, pike minnow. Stuck in the net. Brayden, sit down. Stop. Stop. Got some burgers, boys and girls. Hell yeah. Um, had a double during lunch. One was a pike minnow, one was a kokanee. But I think we have eight kokanee right now on the boat. And still surging, but now that lunch is over, we can make a move and and go go elsewhere. But there are kokanee around here, but they're a little bit spread out. We had two doubles. I mean, that's that's pretty good, but it should be a little bit hotter than it is. So we we just need to make a move, guys. So that's the way I like to kokanee fish. Our depths are what they are for having no downriggers, but that's all right. Stick around, guys. Let's make a move here in a minute, and then hopefully find a big pot of them. Here you go. That's a kokanee. Yeah, that's a kokanee. This one is a kokanee, guys. <laughs> Let him do his thing, and then we can reel him after he's done fighting. I kind of came into this little cove right here, guys. You can see to our left over there. I came in this little inlet. Um, we... Oh, he popped it. He popped it. That's all right, but I wasn't getting bit out there in the main channel, so I decided to come in this inlet, and then we got bit again. So obviously we're making the right moves here. Um, as it's getting shallow, we're marking a little bit more fish up up toward the surface. So that, that kind of helped us out there and probably initiated that bite. So we'll, we'll get it back out there, get another corn on it. Just got here. We are gonna start trolling in a new spot. Let's get them. Just switched up. Got the minimum jelly here. Oh, can't fish it like that. There we go. Minimal. Maybe a little spinning glue, two beads, two hooks. Check your gear, she's looking good, down she goes. There he is, yeah. Fish on, boys. <laughs> He's dogging you, huh? Yeah, this is definitely a kokanee.
was a giant one. It, it, it. There he is. Nice. Kelly's getting on board. Monster. Pretty fish, man. Nah, but this is a good one. It's a good one for around here. Yes, sir. Missing quite a few scales. Let's get him bled and still a pretty fish. Added to the mix. We fished all over the lake today, guys, but we come to our favorite spot. And, and we've had four on here? We've had four on in like four minutes, it feels like. Yeah. Keep reeling, bud. Can't tell if that one's a Coquitobe or a, a pike minnow. Look at this beautiful waterfall over here, guys. Well, it has a waterfall. Keep reeling, bud. I don't know if he's there or not, but he looks to be there. Yeah, he's there. Keep reeling. Lift, lift. Lift it up. Oh, he's here. Oh, now he's here. He's here. That's a nice one. That's a big one, Brayden. Nice fish. Look, Fish on, boys and girls. Fish on. Here, go ahead and reel it in. Start reeling. There you go. Real. Oh, he probably like flamingoed it off. On the turn, dude, that thing was just ripping. I can't tell if he's there or not. Good job. Lift up, Braden. Big lift. Up, 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 up. Oh, there's a school. That's a pike minnow. Dude, he's got a, a snubber. He's a, yeah, that's you. Oh, and me. <laughs> Good oh. job, buddy. Well, can I hold it? No, this one's gross. Okay. All right, guys. So that's that's gonna do it. We're gonna reel up real quick, and then we'll go over a couple things before we sign out. But the wind's picking up. Um, however, the kids both fought six, seven fish apiece. I mean, we had a good time. We ended up with one limit. Uh, released a couple smaller kokanee and and it, it was it was a good uh, half a day of fishing but it's starting to get cold and and we're, we're getting some big gusts of wind now so we're just saying eh, you know what well, we'll go in so let's just show you this setup real quick this was pretty much the hottest setup of the day and i want to show you how basic it was it was 40 degrees outside all we had was this dodger here to a smiley blade. Just a little smiley blade with a couple beads and some corn. That's it. Super simple, super basic. Um, you don't need much. These kokanee will key in on a lot of different things. We probably hooked about 20 fish a day. Uh, could have been a lot better, but most of the fish we marked on our graph were, were 50 feet to 75 feet. So. They were a little deeper today, but we still hooked 20 or so, um, and we're happy with that. And the kids, they had a blast, so that's that's really all that matters. So we're going to be heading in now, but that's your basic setup, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We got about 10 kokanee on board, one limit. Um, weather was <laughs> not great, but we had a good time no matter what. That's, what. that's what being in the outdoors is all about. So kids had a blast, we had a blast. Take your kids fishing.